that's pretty bad when your highlight of your movie is having Vin Diesel back in it. Hey guys, welcome to my review of Fast and Furious. That's right, this movie is just called Fast and Furious. They couldn't think of a better title than to just remove the the. It's not the Fast and the Furious, it's just Fast and Furious. That's how uncreative they were, which speaks for this entire lazily put together movie. I don't even know why I'm going to bother going over the plot because it's pretty much the same as all the other movies except for Tokyo Drift. I mean, at least that movie tried to do something different. Paul Walker is an FBI agent now. Like, he made the jump from not being a police officer last time we seen him to now being an FBI agent. That's pretty big. And guess what? He's got to go undercover to, like, do this bullshit you know, job in like this drug cartel while looking for Vin Diesel and, and Vin Diesel's like in this crew looking for the guy who killed his girlfriend and it's just kind of the same thing, you know, as the other movies. Not very original. Oh, and there's driving in there. Yeah, that too. Just, there's driving still. Well, Paul Walker's back in the movie and I've gotten used to his acting at this point, but in this one, it seems like he's kind of just doing the same thing over and over again. There's nothing new about it. He's just Paul Walker the same way he was from the other two movies. Except in this movie, he feels more like a just generic cop rather than, you know, uh, the characters that he, the fun kind of characters that he was in the first two movies. Vin Diesel is back in the movie and he's just, he's Vin Diesel. I mean, he's, he's obviously he's having fun and I'm having fun watching him. In fact, he's probably one of the most enjoyable characters in the whole movie. Jordana Brewster's in the movie and so is Gail Gadot and the reason why I put them two together is because they're pretty much the same thing that, uh, they are in every single, like, Fast and Furious movie. They're just, I don't even call them women. They're just like these, th they're just sex dolls in these movies. And, like, I'm not going to sit there and expect, like, act like I was expecting anything else. Like, oh, these movies are, like, you know, I want, like, strong female characters or, like, three-dimensional characters. No. They're sex objects in movies that are about cars. And this movie, like, this one doesn't even try to hide it that this movie is just, like, using women as sex objects. Like, every shot in the movie is, like, car, like, you know, or, like, a tracking shot of a girl's ass. And I'm not going to act like I'm complaining about that or anything, but at the same time, I'm not going to act like I expected anything else from this movie. I'm just glad Gail Gadot's getting some, like, you know, work as Wonder Woman and everything, because if I had seen this movie back when Gail Gadot first got announced as Wonder Woman, I would have said, hell no. There is no way in hell she could ever be Wonder Woman. But now, I'm sold. Soon Kang is also in this movie, reprising his role from Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. Now you may be wondering, didn't he die in the last movie? Well, yes, apparently there's a big, like, complex continuity thing going on with the Fast and Furious movies. Apparently Tokyo Drift takes place after this movie for some reason. That's... I... I... That's just stupid. There wasn't even any reason to have him in this movie. He doesn't do shit. I mean, he literally doesn't do anything. And like I said, the biggest problem with this movie is that it's just lazy. It feels like nothing but rehash from the other Fast and Furious movies. And they don't even really feel like racing movies anymore. It's more about heist and stuff like that. The racing aspects of this movie feel really forced. It's just, it's just a dumb movie. And I did enjoy a lot of parts to it. Like, there are some really good, you know, action scenes that I had a lot of fun with. But... Other than that, though, I just, these movies are just getting kind of, they're just rehashed. They're just getting boring. And I don't think that they have the same kind of B-movie appeal as the first two. And I feel like they're starting to lose steam at this point. But people still watch them and pay money to see them. And that's why we're now getting Fast and Furious 8. And at this point with the franchise, I'm just looking forward to seeing The Rock. I'm just waiting for The Rock and Jason Statham to come in. So... So that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go and hit subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. Also, be sure to check out my website. The link is also in the description below. Be on the lookout for the rest of my Fast and Furious reviews. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.